leave you happier and de-stressed. I personally read it myself, it's given to me by a friend. Basically, the book is based on this guy here. This is your chimp, he's running your emotions, okay? Maybe in a positive way, but more than likely in a negative way. He's in control. So, the book is based on a really simple way of explaining how your mind actually works, okay? So you have the chimp, the human, and the computer aspect. The chimp is really just running off your emotions, as I said. He's, you know, he's really focused on jungle mentality, so survival, ego, I want to eat, I want to sleep, and, you know, I want to feel dominant in certain areas of my life, okay? So he likes to act first and then think about the consequences later. So an example might be if you're in an argument with a friend or a family member, say, and you say a couple of things to each other that you know you're regret, you don't even know, it just you know, flies out of the mouth, and then a couple of hours, hopefully not a couple of hours, but a couple of minutes later, you make up, you're like, hey, that wasn't me, I didn't know, you know what that was or what came out there. That's your champion control, okay? So we've all been there. Three Fs are, fight flight and freeze so that's just being aware of you know that kind of reaction state of your brain your, your sympathetic system going on and it's seven times your chimp is seven times stronger than a human so most 90 percent time he's in control that's why it's so important we get um a handle on this guy girl and we build an awareness of of how to build a better relationship okay so the human side is, is more rational it's more forward thinking uh, you're more de-stressed when you're here okay it's more conscious thinking and it, it puts things in perspective. So, you know, it's more about kind of just thinking first and then acting, you know, after making an appropriate, a, a better educated decision, basically, right? Your computer, what I like to call a storage area of experiences, and what in the book is called gremlins, but I'll call scars, is based off, um, you know, life experiences, be it negative, be it positive. So it could be stuff from your childhood, and. Um, in which, uh, or even just from personal relationships that are affecting your life today, okay? And limiting beliefs, I see this the whole time um, here and with clients, it's like, hey, I can never do a push up or can never do a chin up or I can never, you know, deadlift double body weight or even you right now watching this video, you might be like, hey, I can never train in Strength Fellowship Glenn. I've seen the videos, the training is just too intense for me, I'm not fit enough. That's a huge limiting belief. I hear this every single week, right? And it's not true. These are all just things from scarred experiences in your past, okay? So we need to get control of them to unlock your full potential. So how do we do that? How do we build a better relationship with this guy, this girl here? First of all, you've got to name your chip, okay? So give it a name that's neutral, not a, a name of a friend or family member, so you don't have any um, relationship with that name, okay? Then you wanna think who's in charge. So if you're about to go into a, a job interview, first day of work sort of thing, or college, you're nervous, you're giving a speech, ask yourself, hey, do I want to feel like this? Who's in charge right now? Start that internal dialogue with your chip. Then you want to start to think about this um, solution phase, okay? So four uh, categories here. We have exercise, box your chip, reward your chip, distract your chip with a short-term solution. So we're gonna explain all in there. So exercise is basically let your feelings out in a safe place. So imagine uh, you're, you're in conflict, your chip is in control, you want to imagine yourself being recorded and then kind of, okay, taking this outside kind of box approach to make better decisions, okay? Boxing your chimp is just letting your human side come in and be like, hey, and um, you know, chimp, these are all the possible things that can happen if we make this bad decision right now, okay? Being aware of that. Rewarding your chimp, the banana here. And um, so food, you could be like, hey, and... Um, I'm gonna study really hard for this exam and then I'm gonna, you know, go and get um, a nanos or something like that. Or, you know, sleep. I'm, I'm going to um, work really hard today and then I'm gonna get an early night's sleep. And I'm gonna train for a number of sessions and then I'm gonna reward myself a night out with the guys with the girls sort of thing, okay? And remember, you gotta be really conscious of not rewarding your chimp in the wrong way. Like he wants to take control, like, oh, hey, I've had a long day, I'm gonna have a bottle of wine, okay? I deserve it sort of thing, right? So then to distract, which is short term, is just really simple. Count back from 10, really slow, it's so simple, but it gives yourself um, time to let your human side come in and take control, okay? So moving forward, guys, just five key takeaways to start um, getting a better relationship with your chimp is name him or her, okay? Number two, who's in charge? And number three, four-step solution process here. Number four, 
And you're always in charge in terms of what this, the chimp puts to the forefront of your mind is just a suggestion, okay? So you don't have to act on that, take a step back, make better decisions, all right? So number five, practice and awareness. Like anything, you have to start to buy into this. The more you practice, the more you start to you know, talk internally to your, your, your chimp, build a better relationship, you'll make better decisions and be happier to be stress-free. So guys, if you like this video, please, you got something beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how you get on in terms of controlling your chip. Thanks for watching.